or whatever we can put up in here, Dave, just to like decorate. Just change a couple to, to different things, maybe put the medicine bag holder over there. So when you watch Discovery, right, there's always that bald gay guy with the always with a vest, and he comes in, he does this in every house. Three orange throw pillows. He takes your vase, looks at the flowers, and puts in twigs. <laughs> Boom! And it's done. When you get in here, I want like the last scene in 2001 Space Odyssey in that green room. Mm -hmm. When the astronaut is facing himself as an old man. I can sit and, and I want the fight to be very knows. Kurosawa. We're gonna have 2000 Samurai versus Joe. Whenever I talk about film, I like to wrap my hands in case. Things get violent if you start saying like, um, you know, Kubrick sucks or something. We gotta throw down over it. You know what's funny? You know, Morris Smith is kickboxing world champion. He's, he's great. He's like a martial arts legend. Yeah, yeah. So we met over in Tokyo, and you would think that two world kickboxing champions would meet over kickboxing. I heard him say something about a film that I hated, how great it was. I turned around and I'm like, are you out here? That film, and I started ripping apart this film, but we start going back and forth over film. From then on in, when we see each other, all we talk about is film. We've never spoken about martial arts, never about kickboxing, always about film. Best action movie ever made. Best action movie ever made. I mean, I'm really biased with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like the Terminator. You know, I love the Terminator. And anything Clint Eastwood did back in the Cowboy days. One of the most amount of famous lines are from like First Blood. But then they took it too far by going Rambo 2, uh, First Blood 3. I was three, watching art you know. films. <laughs> Scooter trained Leo for the movie. Right. Leo asked Scooter, you know, what can I do in jail? What type of workout can I do? I don't like, you know, like a fed, because I want these guys to watch it. Be like, you know, you know, you don't do that in jail. So Scooter goes, don't worry, I'll call my boy Eddie, he did five years. I call up Eddie, who's a trainer here, and he goes, I'm on the set with Leo Escorsese. He's in a jailhouse scene, what's he do for working out? And he told him something like, you know, like stack up a bunch of books and grab a chair, you should be in the jail cell and just do dips. So I always tease Eddie that he was a consultant on the movie, they just, you know, they just didn't pay him for it. And you're right, Enter the Dragon is the best martial arts That's movie cool. probably, excluding the new high budget, like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The movies are beautiful. They're amazing. All of them. Every right, right. One. But Flying I mean, dagger, all yeah. of you know, but now you're talking a whole different thing. You right. know, I mean, that was that was back in the day. Mar nobody really knew martial arts back then. The best action movie ever is the Norris and Vaughn movie from McQuaid. That is my favorite. Is it really? You would I, like that because you're a redneck. Lone no, no, Wolf no, no, McQuaid, no. that was good. No. That's not when he gets true. buried underground yeah, in yeah. his blazer and he kicks that into like his nitrous oxide overdrive and he comes out of the dirt. But his best, I think his best role ever of any movie that Chuck ever did was um, Code of Silence. Code of Silence. In his earlier movies, he would go into a bar and he would clean out the bar. Right. That movie, he, he got, got his got ass up, kicked right? in the yeah, bar. Joe. And he said it was more, for him, it was more true to life. Best horror movie ever made. Only one answer. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No. Oh, uh, Rosemary's Baby. No. Exorcist. No, I, I laughed my ass off through that. There's actually one well-made horror movie ever made anyway. Rosemary's Sorry. Baby. Shock. Yeah, Rosemary's Baby. Actually, have you seen like, Rosemary's it's Baby? It's great. It's wonderful. But I mean, have you it, seen it, Rosemary's Baby? I don't I mean, what happened? Ago, yeah, well, I'll watch it again. It's yeah, it's, it's better than Shining. No, it's not. It's not I understand Rosemary. the Shining's good, but you know, the Shining isn't good. First of all, The Exorcist is not good. The Exorcist is just a oh, yeah. that's like Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, right. That's like a you know that's one of those hundred thousand dollar movies. Yeah. That was good though. The original Night of the Living Dead is come on. Actually, my favorite horror movies are like the old Bela Lugosi movies and I like Bela Lugosi. You know, yeah, Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney. I was a political science major the first day of school, and I met someone, someone who was a film major, and I said, well, what do you mean you're a film major? I said, no, I'm a film. I'm like, you can major in film? That's the coolest thing I ever heard. So day two, I switched my major, and I never went back. I mean, every film we made, everyone in my class was, was so pretentious. Everyone was trying to be political, sexual, and violent in every film, and it was so bad. Mine were terrible. Terrible. 
horrendous. I, it was so bad, I, I threw him away about a year ago. Did you really? Yeah, so, so they should you be just walking on hands. Because now that you're famous, you didn't want anybody yeah, to famous. see them. Yeah, famous. They, they were horrendous. Titanic isn't good. This is a fact, not an opinion. Okay, I through. However, everything else that that guy has done is great for action movies. The Terminator, The Abyss, those are like the best action movies as far as like, you know. The Abyss was a great movie. The Abyss is great, and Ed Harris is amazing. American Beauty? Yeah, I, in the minority, I thought the film was just totally mediocre. I thought it was totally predictable. The rose petal thing, I just, I hate all that crap. What did you think of um, The Patriot? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm a huge Mel Gibson fan. I love Braveheart. And they spent an hour developing the love between him and his wife before they slit her throat. So when he wigs out and just destroys all the English, you understand the motivation. Unlike in Titanic, where they have sex in the backseat of a car once, they just met two days earlier, and then when she dies at the age of 83, the end of the movie, Leo greets her at the gates of heaven, which is the top of the staircase in the Titanic. And I'm the only person that said, where's her husband? She banged him when she was 16 years old. No, you're not the only person. Was married for like 50 years, <laughs> and Leo meets her? I assure you, get this on camera, because <laughs> if I die, if I die, and at the gates of heaven, if my wife, and I hope not, if she died before me, and she's not there, but some girl from sophomore year of high school <laughs> who I fooled around with once, once in the back of the school bus, I'll be pissed. Can you imagine? You get, you get to have me like... No, fuck you.